top story at 10. Imagine having a disease that slowly destroys all the organs in your body, including your kidneys, liver, eyes, and brain. That's the enormously difficult situation one local elementary school girl is in, but she's not fighting this alone. Dozens of community members rallied behind her tonight, and our Madeline White joins us in studio to share their story. That's right. At a packed Garden City winery event this evening, 30% of proceeds went towards finding a cure for a very rare disease that one strong little girl is fighting right here in Boise. Dance moves busted out, aged wines a flowing, and folks lining up at a food truck. You might think this was just another night at a Chinden winery, but these locals came out for more than just a good time. Everybody wants to see Hadley grow up. They came to help a nine-year-old Boise girl suffering from cystinosis. What's it mean for you to have all these people here to support you? Um, it's very special. And um, to think that they're all here just for me. Cystinosis is a rare and incurable metabolic disease that affects only about 500 people in the U.S. Cystinosis is where the amino acid doesn't have a way to transport out of the cells, so it, instead it accumulates and it causes um, crystals to form and then it eventually causes all the cells and organs to be damaged. Six years ago, Hadley's mother started Hearts for Hadley, a nonprofit that raises money for research on this disease, research that she says doesn't get any federal support since it's so rare. Uh, so this is really what's driving us, the cure. Right now, the average lifespan for someone with cystinosis is 28 which is far too young if you ask me. Since the group's first event six years ago, the Alexanders say they've managed to hurt a big chunk of change for the cause. We've raised over half a million dollars. Yeah, and that drives me because I know it's making an impact. Marku says staying busy with events like this is what helps her stay strong for her daughter. Some might say I'm maybe a control freak. <laughs> um, and for me, get, getting this news of the diagnosis of Hadley it really took away control that I thought I had as being a mom to a new baby uh, and to a you know growing child. And so for me, the one way I could control this disease was to um, get involved. In, in raising and get involved she did. And hope could be on the horizon for this disease. Previous studies with mice found that the treatment rescued organs from the disease's symptoms. And the first human trial, Don, was approved by the FDA last fall. A doctor in California gave treatment to a young adult with cystinosis. So when will we know the results of the trial? That's a good question. We should know if it's effective or permanent within the next six months to a year. So I'll make sure to keep you updated and hopefully talk to Hadley and her family as well after they learn the results of that trial. Positive thoughts? Yes. All right, thanks, Madeline. Thank More of the day's news.